James Brayshaw and Bins Brownless. This Bins. is Triple M's Rush Hour special Friday edition of the podcast. Don't forget Port Adelaide Collingwood tonight yes. from 6 p.m. on Triple M. Unlike tomorrow night uh, or last night where yeah. there were no games. That's right. No footy till Friday, no, which is today, Jim. All right. Come on now. This right is on. a nice opportunity for you to go a little oh, geez, the station more the, fruity. The music nearly came on there. Jim I was just trying to think of the appropriate well, word to describe how you can do this. The biggest gap of you sense. get the chance to just be a little fruity. Mm. Right. right, here we go, Jimmy. We boy. did that once. <laughs> hey, before you play this, uh, just hold that, Rabbit. We did that once. I think it was before your time. I think Hig was uh, looking after things. <laughs> we did. Where Bill got that board yeah. on air that he said, Let's just see how long we no, can't that speak. That was with me. That was yeah. yeah. And we looked at the clock. Yeah. yeah. And he goes before the song starts. Let's see how long we can say how, nothing. How long is it? Seven seconds, isn't it? And Bill, Rabs. The thing about it was Rabs. The feedback we got was it was the best stuff Bill had come out with. <laughs> <for the whole laughs> year. But remember, we couldn't do it because no. it was too long. It, it, we it had just to kept talk. going with I nothing. Know. And because the music comes on, is that what happens when well, there's a long it's delay? To. It's yeah. meant to, but it didn't. We, we couldn't make it work. All right, now, Fat. Yes. Uh, something fruity by way of joke to yep. end what's been a bloody good week. Pretty ordinary week. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. Hey, Billy, won't you tell a joke now? Because you're not a funny man, at least not on purpose. Oh. oh. Righto, Jimmy boy. A school teacher asked her students to make a sentence containing the word I presume. Okay? Presume. Yeah. That's two words. Yeah. Well, a se- expression or whatever, mm-hmm. I presume. Yeah. Better than contagious, Jim, this one. Yeah. <laughs> one little girl put up a hand and she said, Yesterday my mother hand washed the dinner dishes and I presumed that the dishwasher was broken. Very good, said mm. the teacher. Next one. This morning, my father drove the Volkswagen out of the garage. I presume that the BMW wouldn't start. Oh, excellent. Hmm. And, of course, little Johnny. 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 Little always Johnny, Johnny. Always little Johnny. Jim. Naughty little bastard. Got it. <laughs> exactly right. He's got his hand up out the back of the classroom. Okay, little Johnny, I'll give you a go. Yesterday, I saw Grandpa leave the house with a newspaper wrapped under his arm and headed to the bush. I presume that the teacher interrupted. She knew what I think mm, little Johnny was, was going to say. Yes. Yep. I stopped you because you have no idea what your grandfather was going to do, so you can't presume anything. Johnny said, please, teacher, let me finish my sentence. Oh, okay, little Johnny. As I was saying, I saw Grandpa heading for the bush with a newspaper under his arm. I presumed he was going for a shit because he can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad from little Johnny. He's a naughty little bastard, Jim, isn't he? Oh, no. Naughty, naughty Johnny. Oh, Bill. Oh, yeah, that's a fruity Friday. That yeah, makes us all happy inside. <laughs> and now we just bounce off to work or the pub. We weren't in lockdown. <laughs> Have a good weekend, Jim. Much, I'm not sure how much more of this I can do, Rabbit. I'm not just thinking of something.